Hey guys, Sandy here. Um, I've been getting a couple questions about the Love Hina abridged auditions that I thought I might uh, help clarify. So I'm going to set up a, a couple ground rules, but I'm also going to try to keep it as simple as I can. Now, uh, I have established a deadline. Originally, I was going to leave it kind of open, just kind of see how many we get and kind of just go from there, but in the interest of everything, so that way this project doesn't just, you know, stay in developmental hell, basically. I've decided to establish a deadline, which is October 30th, 2011. And I hope to have the cast list out at, as soon as possible. Ideally by Halloween. That would be a nice uh, Halloween surprise. But depending on, uh, you know, who we get and if there's any kind of nail-biter finishes uh, where we have to pick one over the other, you know... Hopefully we'll be able to iron those things out. So, and also these dates can change at any time if we receive enough auditions or if I think I receive, you know, the one. You know, like nobody can top this person. So, here are the uh, three basic rules of the audition. Uh, post your demo reel as a video response, either to this video or the previous one. Basically anything that says Love Hina Bridged, um, like audition. So Love Hina Bridged Audition. Feel free to post it as a video response. If it's not a video response, it doesn't count as an official audition. And uh, the second rule is please have a good mic. Now I've been going through a couple audition or audition uh, not tapes. <laughs> I want to say tapes because I'm old, but audition reels, I guess. Whatever the new term is, auditions. There we go, auditions. <laughs> I've been going through a lot of auditions. And uh, most of them have a, a pretty good setup going. You know, there's not too many uh, clicks and pops, and the sound comes out really clean, and that's really good. But there's been a couple of them where the sound is either very muffled, or you can hear a bunch of static in the background, or they get too close to the mic and uh, the sound pops. There's a lot of uh, peaks, basically. And uh, it's really kind of sad because there have been at least one or two that I've gone through that I can tell that the uh, actor or actress is very talented but their mic setup just isn't there and it, I don't know I really wanted to call them in for an audition but it just I'd like to have a consistent mic setup you know because I noticed there's some of bridge series where you know this guy has a good mic setup this guy has a good mic setup but this girl's got a real jacked up mic setup or whatever the case may be you know, they sound like they're literally, you know, calling on the phone and phoning it in, so. Now, if I'm going for that effect, then that's fine, but for the most part, have a good mic setup. That's second rule. And the third rule is I'll be, I'll be providing feedback as time allows. Now, I'm usually really good with getting back to people, but I am in the Navy, and things do come up, so I do have a fairly busy schedule. But, like I said, especially with NFAX, I was always very good at getting back to people as soon as I could. So, usually, probably about less than a day, two days max, normally. Uh, but, depending on how many audition, you know, auditions I get, it may take me a while to get to yours. So, try to keep that in mind and be patient. <laughs> and, uh, I've also been getting a couple questions as far as you know, what the whole audition is, so I'd like to answer those. Let's see, first one is, what if I don't have a demo reel? Does this mean I can't audition? And, uh, you can audition. It just, uh, post your audition as a video response. You don't have to actually be on camera, just do, like, a little audio thing. So you can put up, like, pictures or whatever, but as long as there's audio and I can hear what you're doing, that's fine. You don't have to do your thing in front of the camera. So just basically record a bunch of lines using voices that you think are your best. And one of the things that I want you to do is show me your range. I notice a lot of the uh, voice actors and actresses that I've been looking through their reels, they like to stick to a very rigid range. You know, they're either like the high-pitched, you know, cute little school girl, and they might go a little low, but not too low. And... I don't know, maybe for incidental characters that's fine, but if I'm looking for a main character, I want somebody with 
a lot of dynamic and range. So that way when the big heavy moments come up, you know, it can really they can really hit it home. So yeah, you can do the nice cutesy voice, but also kind of show me the more dramatic, lower, you know, brooding sort of voice. And I've seen a lot of really good, like, seriously just blowing me away. Like, why aren't these, why don't these people have jobs, kind of? Like, man, these guys should be pros or something. So I, I've just kind of seen a mixture of both. So, yeah, just basically show me your range. You can pick a bunch of random lines from other characters. You can go to the uh, English, the dub version of Love Hina and just kind of do a basic run through as a certain character. That would be ideal actually, but if you want to show me a range, that's cool. Uh, what time would submissions be closing? Like I said, submissions are closing at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that's about 3 o'clock a.m. October 31st. This is 2011. So if you're seeing this in like 2012, 2013, whatever, then sorry guy, you missed the audition. Um, what if I post my audition at 12 o'clock a.m. on October 31st? If it's Pacific Standard Time, your audition unfortunately will not be accepted. But you do have until 3 o'clock a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So uh, learn to use that to your advantage. And i uh, also like to go over a couple other questions that this one uh, viewer sent me. And one of them is, do you need to see the show in order to try out? Now, I'm not going to be a super stickler saying, you know, Oh my god, dude, you got to watch all 26 episodes in the OVAs and read the manga and all this other stuff, you know. Even though I've done that, if you're doing it for the, you know, if you're just auditioning, you don't have to do that. But I do recommend that you at least watch a couple episodes to kind of get the feel for the character. And uh, there's also some actors and actresses out there that don't really do that. They kind of like to go with the flow to keep the characters changes fresh so overall you don't have to have seen all of Love Hina but I do recommend that you see at least a couple episodes so you can get the gist of the characters and his other question was what date are auditions closed I already explained that and also can you try out for more than one one character and can you try out more than once um, I'm going to try to answer this in two parts. For trying out for more than one character, you most certainly can. I highly recommend it. That'd be cool. Um, if you have the range for it, of course. Now, uh, uh, let's see. One of the more infamous cases of somebody trying out for more than one character was uh, Little Karibo. He originally, for uh, the DBZ abridged uh, fan dub parody thing that they do, uh, he originally tried out for Captain Ginyu, but he also was in the scene where Frieza was in it. And they liked his Frieza more than his Captain Ginyu, so he ended up doing the voice for Frieza. So, the moral of the story is, if you want to do more than one character, I'd be happy if you did. But, also, don't send me in like two or three separate demo reels for each character. Just try to keep it all in one video. And... Oh, another thing that I probably should have touched on earlier. Try to make your demo reel at least 90 seconds long, so about a minute and a half. And try not to go over two minutes. I'm not going to be a super stickler about it, but it is best if you try to max it out at two minutes. You know, just try not to go too far beyond that. Let's see. And as far as trying out more than once and... You know, me giving you a critique or something. I'm going to do this on a case-by-case -case basis. I mean, if I think your audition is great, but you just need a little more direction or I need to kind of smooth out some of the finer details or if your mic was jacked up that day or whatever the case may be, then I might give you a pass and say, hey, this is what you need to work on. Send me another audition and stuff like that. But if your audition stinks on ice or whatever, then, yeah, I'm not going to call you back. So, just keep that in mind. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for now. I'll probably post more rules and whatever as time goes along and, you know, new things pop up. But for now, that's the basic gist of it. So, yeah, this is the Andy-san.
signing off for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in to this quick little webcam video update thing about Bobber. And for rating, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And also for sending in your auditions. Um, I definitely look forward to seeing everybody's. And I'm also doing uh, some recruiting on the side. I'm also looking at other people's audition tapes, reels, whatever the term is. I don't know. So if you see like a little comment from me saying, hey, I think you'd be great for trying out for such and such. Um, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely check it out. So, yeah. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Happy auditioning.